We made it to Yellowstone and um, we're at Grant Village. That's, this is where we're camping out at and um, we're gonna go get food and then go to Old Faithful. So it is so much warmer here right now. High tomorrow is supposed to be in the 70s. So I'm really loving this and we get free showers, two free showers a night. So that's nice. Well, I guess technically we're paying for them because we're paying for the campsite, but that's what we're doing. And Caleb loves me filming. So see you later. keep going oh my gosh they keep freaking me out they're huge and they're trying to eat the plastic they shouldn't eat that people left their trash around that's why just ate lunch and now I'm gonna go take a nap and then not really sure what's next but Yellowstone is so big it's I feel like it's bigger than Grand Teton just driving places takes forever so um, I may or may not leave to drive I might just stay here we're right by the lake so that's pretty cool found I think that is an elk possibly <music> to go to the West Thumb um, geyser because I'm like right next to it at my campsite so this is it and there's nobody really here because it's like six o'clock it looks so warm like look at it it's steaming still be there you know they're just gonna chill look at this lake though how beautiful it is such a beautiful day and it's not even that cold and windy right now I am loving this <laughs> hanging out in the sun looking at the other tents and last night I did not sleep very well it wasn't as cold as the other nights it was still really cold but um I just like was not comfortable and I just could not sleep very well so I'm hoping I'm not gonna be that tired today but I probably will need a nap later um anyways today we are gonna go to 
the Grand Canyon of Yellowstone, as it is called. Tom's cabin trail but I think it's closed so instead we're walking on a different trail to Point Sublime that I think we're gonna stop about halfway oh my gosh that scared me there's like a little critter running across but um then we're gonna go to the other other side of the canyon that's what I mean to say smart and did not pack food and it is a long drive back to our campsite so we're getting food at the Canyon Lodge. So we are in Mammoth Hot Springs and this place is basically like Disneyland. Like it feels like Disneyland. It's cool though, I like it. almost 9 a.m. and we are gonna go to the North Geyser Basin. Also, it's not supposed to be raining today, but it is already kind of raining. So hopefully it clears up soon. I would say that this one is my favorite geyser so far because it feels like you're in a, on a different planet and it reminds me a bit of Doctor Who, which I like. So, Norris Geyser Basin gets the thumbs up from me. Hey, 
Okay, so I am back at the campsite and I'm just gonna have peanut butter and jelly sandwich and we're gonna hang out here for the rest of the time. Um, just because honestly in Yellowstone, everything is so far away from each other. It took us like an hour just to get to the last geyser. Um, and that's not even like all the way up north. Like yesterday when we went to Mammoth from Grant Village, which is like the southernmost point to the northernmost point, um, like campsites, it took us about two hours to get back to our campsite. And it's just so far, so long, and you're in traffic the whole time basically. Um, so we're gonna hang out here for the rest of the day and tomorrow we go to Utah. So just some like observances about Yellowstone. I, there's a lot of families here, like a lot, a lot of families. Um, I don't really see anybody traveling solo. I met one girl traveling solo, but that was in Grand Teton, not in Yellowstone. Oh my gosh, my stuff's gonna fly away. Um, also, it's very cold at night, so make sure you bring a jacket and don't be like me and think, oh yeah, it'll be totally fine. Like, I can handle sleeping in 30 degree weather um, with like a light jacket. No, you can't. It's so cold. Um, so bring a jacket, bring bug spray because at Yellowstone there are a ton of mosquitoes. Um, be prepared to drive a lot. And what else? Oh, there's a lot of RVs here. A lot, a lot of RVs, a lot of people renting RVs. And also one fun fact about Yellowstone is that I did not expect, or I don't know if it's a fun fact, but something that surprised me is that I did not expect there to be so many people from all around the world traveling here. Like I thought it would just be like a bunch of Americans traveling, but it's honestly people from all over the world. So I'm gonna go eat and just enjoy the rest of my day. I'm taking a walk by Yellowstone Lake and it is so calm and peaceful and I'm not even wearing a jacket so it's nice weather. It is a good, good day y'all. And it's our last night. <laughs> How do you feel Caleb? I feel good. <clears throat> I feel oh. good. Okay, awesome. So next time I will be in Salt Lake City. See ya.